The A-level results are the key towards the next step in education and without wanting to sound melodramatic as far as these youngsters are concerned, today is make or break. <laughs> <laughs> We've both got ABC and I think we're both quite happy with it. You've got boys! You've got boys! Come, give me a hand. <laughs> me, Kingston, University of Liverpool. So yeah, so I'm really excited. September. I'm really happy. I got three C's, so um, I'll go to Kingston now. I got my like place confirmed, so now next month I'll be in uni, hopefully. I got BBD. It was very hard like throughout the months, but I think the studying paid off, so I'm happy. Four A's. Oh, I can't even do it. We're very happy with the results. I mean, the girls have done remarkably well. Uh, they have achieved excellent grades, excellent results, and, uh, and we're very pleased for them. There's a lot of stress involved. It's Definitely. become very, very competitive. Very competitive, very stressful, both for girls, for teachers and for parents. And so this is the culmination, this, you know, this is the pivotal day today, and this is the culmination of all those hard years of, of work. Uh, and yes, it is very stressful, and there are a lot of tears, but there are a lot of happy tears as well. Some of the girls, exceptional. Very. And some, some really exceptional stories uh, and, and remarkable success for some of them, yes. Um, I got an A star for English literature, an A for religion, an A for Spanish and a B for history of art. So. How much work is behind the scenes for you to be able to say that? <laughs> Loads of work. I studied endless hours a day, so I'm glad that all my hard work has paid off finally. <laughs> what happens now? Well, I got an email this morning confirming my place at the University of York. So I'm over the moon and I can't wait to leave in September. I'm going to study English. Uh, I'm so um, happy. I, uh, I really can't believe it. Uh, okay, so tell everyone what you got. Uh, I got three A's and a B. And I'm going in September to the University of Southampton to study medicine. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm so glad that all the hard work has paid off. <laughs> And it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> Test. And it shows that we have a system that works. Uh, we're very proud of our system. Uh, there's a lot of time and effort you know, invested by lots of relevant people. Uh, and so therefore we reap the benefits of that today when we have the results. We see those crying, we see those people waving the, the, the results and of course they are the ones that get the A's. What about those that don't manage to right. get A's? What we have is that yes, there are of course a number of students who are not going to be as successful today so what we have uh, available for them are helpline desks manned by teachers and support staff and they will be they we are here uh, and they can come in and they can get advice on clearing on priority remarks on anything that they require so that we can also help them on their next journey I think relieved is the word this year we're happy very happy overall with the results uh, we've gone up at uh, a level from 95 percent a star to e to 97%, so we're happy with that. Um, we've also improved at A star to B, and significantly, actually, if we look at the A star to C pass rate, that's gone up quite significantly, actually. So overall, at A level, we're happy. We have four Gibraltar scholars as well. One boy in particular, Daniel Likudi, has got three A stars and one A, which I think is very impressive. Yes. Um, I got an A star and two A's. A star and two A's. A star and two A's. <laughs> you're, you're, not a, you're not a boy though? No, I'm not a boy. I just came to Bayside to do another subject that they didn't offer in Westside. So, so what happens now? Well, I haven't really, didn't really expect to be in the situation I'm in now. So I don't really know what happens now. I'm going to have to talk to my teacher, but I'm glad to have got um, my scholarship and I'm really looking forward to beginning the university. Um, I'm going to uni. I'm going to Sheffield University to study chemical engineering. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, well, I went to London School of Economics, you know, to represent Gibraltar. So yeah, I'm really proud. And yeah, I just hope now everything goes well. AS level, um, we tend to overlook AS level. AS level this year, I'm, I'm very happy with because we've, we've increased our grade at eight, A to E from 79% to 87%. That's our best in about seven years, I think. And I think it's, uh, um, we've got a number of students who've done particularly well. One boy's got five A's. Uh, several other boys have got three A's and uh, or three or four A's. A uh, good half dozen or six or seven boys have done that. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased at AS level, and I think that it bodes well, very well for next year, actually. So uh, on the whole, satisfied, never complacent. There are areas we need to look into, obviously, as we always do. 
but we're pretty happy with the results, yeah. That is also encouraging because what uh, students do for AES, generally that reflects in the A2 results, so we hopefully will see that further increase next year. In this year there have been, there's been a lot of speculation, particularly in the UK press, of the toughening of standards, the drop in grades, particularly in the, the A star to B or the top grade category. Um, Gibraltar has held its own and in particular Bayside has even increased the, the pass rate in the A star to B. So there's a lot to be pleased, there's a lot to, to celebrate in these results. Comparing the results with last year, I think they're very much on a par with what we achieved last year. And in fact, uh, regarding the A2 in particular, I would say that they've gone up a couple of percentage points. So all in all, very happy. In fact, some results, some, some subjects, um, the results have, are in, have improved and our share of A, A grades have also gone up uh, at least more than double, in fact, so very happy. A bit of a raw deal for the college when compared to Westside and Bayside because for students who come to the college normally it's like their second pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they also come here because they want to and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a choice that they have and therefore they come with a different attitude and uh, they, they often mature quite a bit and we get often students from schools who perhaps haven't done so well, they come to the college um, and we find that in a year they've made quite, quite a lot of progress. Uh, their attitude changes, the, the, sort of the environment here is slightly different to the schools and, uh, and generally students are very happy and they do very well and uh, overall we are, we are uh, pleased, I would say, yes, definitely pleased. And what we've seen today is a reflection of the work that the students have done, the teachers have done, the schools have, have put together. We've seen a trend in the last three years of an increase in the overall pass rate and this year has seen no, no difference. In fact, what is particularly pleasing is that all three schools Bayside, Westside and the Gibraltar College have all seen an increase in the overall pass rate in the A star to E of 2% each and that's, that's a fantastic achievement for all the schools and for all the students who clearly did the work. After years of hard work and weeks of worry, the students finally get to relax. Judging by the results, it'll be celebrations and not commiserations.